Hey everybody, Scott from Enduro America. Today we're going to be going through the front end setup on the Cove. Stay tuned. So we're down here at the shop. We're going to go through the front end setup on this Cove. Now, I apologize. I already made this video and I don't know what the heck happened. I ended up with six videos that I had done and was going to upload this week and I never got around to it and I have no idea what happened to the videos. So I'm basically doing this over again. So today we're just going to do the front end. Um, I have already gone ahead and set up the front end on this, so kind of a bummer, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did. Um, again, you get an owner's manual when you get these or these bikes, and the owner's manual is really unclear, to me anyway, on the specifications on setting up and the actual front end on this bike. Um, and then some of the torque specs seemed like extraordinarily high to me, which I'm not going to utilize those. So I went ahead and kind of did it my own way. I've taken the bike for a couple more rides after that. Um, I can I can kind of understand like some of the problems guys were having with the front ends. They, they were saying like the suspension was a little, like kind of almost like it was binding. And if you let me explain that, I think I understood why. So from the factory, um, when I took this off of here, this bottom triple clamp, I was really, really concerned about how tight these were, these these bolts on each side. There's two on each side holding this bottom triple clamp and holding the fork tube in. And boy, I'll tell you, I had to use a small breaker bar to get these off. I was really, really concerned that I was going to break these, um, trying to loosen them from the factory. And it was uh, kind of crazy. So don't trust the factory settings. Go ahead, watch this video, and go ahead and set this, the front end of your bike up just like it should be you can utilize the stock um, torque specs these are all in newton meters as written in the book and i've done newton meters on my bike as well you can kind of go by what i've done um, this is kind of my disclaimer this is what i'm doing you don't have to do this i'm not telling you to do this this is just what i'm doing with the bike so basically what you do loosen all of these up so loosen your bottom triples on both sides loosen the pinch bolts on both sides and then loosen your fork um, axle nut on, on that side there and then go ahead make sure this is torqued to spec on both sides of your top triple now I chose to do 17 Newton meters which is plenty tight enough I believe um, I wasn't gonna follow what the spec said in the book because I thought it was just too dang tight for for front suspension so not doing that um, but at the same time do your do your handlebars I, I did do these at 20 Newton meters and then uh, again work your way down Do 17 Newton meters here everything else at this point is loose Okay, so go ahead. You have to make sure your front wheel is off the ground, which again, I've already done this. So the front wheel on mine is not off the ground. I'm just telling you this is what you need to do. Front wheel off the ground, you're going to spin the tire in the direction of rotation that you're going to be going, okay, which is clockwise. So spin that tire, hit the front brake. Do that two, two three, four times when you're doing these bottom triples. So spin the front tire, hit the front brake. Okay, that's gonna set these in here. So make sure you're not twisting and turning and all that stuff on your fork tubes after the fact. So go ahead and, and tighten these up. Tighten these up to spec on both sides of your bottom, bottom triple clamp here. I chose 15 Newton meters. Again, that is not what the factory spec is, um, but that's what I'm putting these as because I don't think it needs to be any tighter than that. And from the riding that I've done personally, um, I think it's just fine and the suspension works fantastic. So this is just what I've done. I always go ahead and I write Newton meters on the torque specs everywhere on the bike that you're going to be working on it. Um, I've done that front to back. It just makes it way easier to when you're when you're trying to reset stuff down the road. Um, you don't have to do that, but I just choose to do that. So at this point, you've got your, your triple clamps are set. Your fork tubes are, are in here as well. Okay, now the bottom section here, you're going to do the same thing. Spin that tire in the direction of rotation while it's off the ground. So again, you're going to have to jack the bike up. I've got my jack under there and it's just kind of supporting the bike as it's been sitting here. Um, spin the tire, hit the brake, tighten your axle nut. So before that, these two bolts right here, these pinch bolts on the opposite side of the axle nut are going to have to be tightened just a little bit to hold that axle nut so it doesn't spin inside this tube. Okay, so... Torque your axle nut. I chose 28 Newton meters. Again, you can you can do as per spec on the bike. You can do whatever you want. This is just what I'm how I'm setting it up. So you've got your axle nut tightened up. You've got your top triple, your middle, or your bottom triple, and your axle nut tight. At this point, you're going to repeat the same process. So you're going to loosen these two up so everything's loose again down here, just your on your pinch bolts on both sides. So this is going to be the only thing left to do. 
are your pinch bolts. Spin the tire again, direction of rotation, hit the brakes. A couple times, hit the brakes. What that's going to do is set these bottom, um, the bottom portion of your suspension up with that axle. So go ahead and torque this side to spec. Get them torqued. You're going to repeat the same process. Spin the tire, hit the brakes. Do that a couple times, and then do this one. At this point, after you tighten these ones to spec, which I chose 15 newton meters, the front end of this motorcycle should be set up. Okay, you shouldn't have any issues. Nothing's going to be binding. Now, if you're just leisurely riding this bike, you really shouldn't have to do anything to it for quite a while. Um, if you crash out, if you fall over, if you do anything like that, what I would recommend is the next time you get back into your shop, into your garage, outside in the driveway, whatever it may be, go ahead and reset the front end again. Because what's happening is these, these fork tubes are, are twisting and turning and moving and all that good stuff while you're riding as well. But when you crash and something gets turned real quick and it, and it goes to the, you know, to the max setting and maybe the tire's on something, it'll, it'll start to bind up again and the suspension's not going to work properly the way it should be. So you're going to have to do bottom triple, both, both, um, of the bottom pinch bolts and the axle nut just go through that whole process again just just like i did it so the procedure again was bottom triple axle nut pinch bolt pinch bolt and then he should be good uh, if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section below that's basically the front end setup on the Cove 450 rally as long as pretty much every other motorcycle um that's out there. So if you guys, again, have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If you like the videos, I've got a ton more Covey content coming up. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ride safe.